What is going on guys? Uh, in my last DWM video I said I was going to show you how to configure the status bar and I showed you a brief way to do it from the terminal. Uh, let me go over that really fast before we continue but uh, you can do this uh, the script that I will show you you can put into your xinit rc file or how I have done created just a bash script that I link that in my you uh, in my xinit rc file so if we open up a terminal here uh, again in my previous video I said that the status bar here is set as x set root dash name and then in parentheses or uh, quotations uh, you do dollar sign parentheses and then date and then you just end the quotes and then as you can see right here um, it shows you the date and time so there is a way to put this through script so I'm gonna bring up my script that I found uh, another person's script on github I can't remember where I found it but uh, he I just named it the same way that he did so I just uh, you can name it whatever but I call it DWM underscore status now a lot of this is just scripting so how he had it was <clears throat> uh, I will print the volume uh, it's just a lot of coding here I believe this is in C which is what DWM is written in so it just shows you the takes the A mixer master and then it prints out the volume same thing with the Wi-Fi uh, it will link your Wi-Fi adapter and then it will and you can do memory, temperature, battery, just make sure uh, that it's bat 0, bat 1, whatever uh, your battery is, and then the date. And this uh, right here is based off of uh, uh, these right here. So the A is the month, I'm sorry, month, date, seconds, I believe, and then the A is the month. So I kind of like it like that, but it's however you prefer your date and time. So this while loop here is pretty much what you need to run this in your XNNRC RC file. Like a lot of this up here, you don't really need. Um, but it's the while true do such and such. So it's the X set root dash name and then in quotations you print out the Wi-Fi print out the volume print the bat battery and then print the date so we're just gonna save this well, I have it saved the next thing you want to do is put this in your XNet RC file so I have a bash script or a alias for this so you want to link uh, this in uh, to your xinit rc file so you want to also make sure that whatever script you have uh, you want to make it executable so make sure you do a chmod plus x and then the file or chmod 775 there is a numbers uh, I forget exactly what they are but it's the same way of doing it and then you just want to restart so I will be back and I'll show you what this looks like okay so I'm back so as you can see up here uh, it did work I do not know what this box is it might be an artifact of the config uh, file but uh, it shows you what my Wi-Fi is the uh, part of the IPv6 and the IPv4 uh, it shows my battery level 
excuse me, my volume, that's my battery, and then the date and time. So this is just uh, one of the configurations that I found searching uh, GitHub. I will put this in my own GitHub and link it to you. Um, I would suggest, you know, do a simple Google search or look at other people's configs and ask them if uh, you can fork their uh, status. The second thing I was going to show you tonight was patching uh, the DWM. Um, I did try one earlier. Um, it was the stacker patch, um, but for whatever reason it might have been a version issue. I had issues with it. So I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm still going to show you the process of how to patch your DWM. So in the sucklist.org uh, there is a section called patches uh, and we're going to get the Fibonacci uh, patch. So it's as uh, the Fibonacci uh, it's the spiral um, layout in awesome and then others. So it's the spiral one and then it just shows you the usage. Uh, you can go into the general instructions. It has its own config file so in any of these that you see on the side uh, it, you will have the a diff file so you want to you can either copy link location or you can just do um, download it and put it into your saving or uh, your download folder so if we go to that folder you'll see what it looks like here now the way that I do it uh, tonight will probably be the fastest way but you can do this manually uh, from what I gathered from other DWM users it is a pain in the ass so just uh, probably this way or a way similar to this would probably work so in my downloads folder you'll see the DWM dash Fibonacci and then the sequence number now again I don't know if this will work since uh, the seek uh, the version is 5.8 and uh, the DWM is 6.1 I don't know but we will find out so we're just gonna move this into where I have my configuration file so paste now you just uh, open up a terminal here CD into where your DWM file is and then you're going to do patch dash P it could be it could be P0 P1 um, I don't know exactly what the P stands for uh, there's no documentation so if anyone knows please leave a comment down below I'm curious what it is so I'm going to put P dash or dash P1 and then the less sign and then um, if you don't have it in the same folder then you just put the pathway to it but since we do have it we'll do DWM dash and then autocomplete so that's the diff and you just hit enter and then if there's any errors on there then it will show up so we're just gonna go sudo and then make clean install put in our password here so there's the moment of truth so it does look like it worked so I will be right back again okay so I'm back um, so we'll see if this did hold uh, everything looked fine so we'll scroll through our layout so right now is the master layout so it will have a single pane or it will have a double pane here so we'll just open up a couple of um, so we'll scroll through so if we hit the alt and spacebar there's floating okay so let's go back doesn't look like it worked so we'll see how to do that 
Um, so the spiral. I will look at this and get back to you. Okay, so it does seem like it did work, because here they are. There's the spiral and the dwindle, but uh, there might be an issue with the my configuration file or how I did it, but yeah, it seemed to work, but I don't know again why it's not working. So, um, but that's how you would uh, patch um, your DWM. Now, again, patching, it's nice that you can add different types of stuff to your configuration file, but if you have to add uh, stuff to something that should come in by default, then I, I don't know. Like a lot of it, uh, the one that I was trying to do, uh, you can move different, uh, move this up and down. It was called the stacker layout. I'll show you what that looks like. Right here so you can just move everything to the first position second third last so I tried to do this one but uh, let's see if this will work again I highly doubt it but uh, let's go back and try this Let's do CD DWM patch dash P one here DWM dash stacker. So again it looked like it worked, but let's see what happens when I try to do a make install here. Because this is where I ran into the issue before. Yeah. See, it looks, uh, it's not reading the dwm.c at all, and it's giving me this error message. So that's where I was trying, struggling with. But I'm going to call this video, um, but I just showed you the basic way to do patching your dwm. It really depends on the patch version since it's DWM Stacker 6.0, but I'm on 6.1, so it could be the version of DWM I'm on. I do not know. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or want to see more of uh, another window manager, please let me know, and I will talk to you guys later.